Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Stocks. Uh, today we have with us uh, Dr. Nidhi Sharma. She is doing MD Pathology from RHS College of Medical Sciences and she will share her insights about MD Pathology as a branch. She will tell us about pros and cons of MD Pathology and many other informative things. So friends, we will come up with more such informative videos. Please like and subscribe this channel. So please watch it till the end. So stay tuned and find it out. So Dr. Sir, please tell us about <coughs> MD Pathology as a branch. What are the pros and cons of this branch? So over to you. Please tell. Okay friends. Uh, let's start. I'll tell you about the pros and the cons of pathology as a career option. First of all, we'll talk about the pros of pathology. The first and the foremost and you can say the most important pro is that you will be able to manage your work and personal life very well. Unlike other clinical branches where you don't get time for yourselves too. You know, this is uh, one of the most important uh, factor to stay happy in your life that you are managing your work life and personal life especially for the females uh, who have dual responsibility another very important uh, advantage is that you will not have any night calls or emergencies unlike other clinical branches uh, where you might have to rush uh, uh, hospital at nights friends um, uh, just imagine one thing that uh, the clinicians are dependent on your report for further management purposes yes uh, when you give report then only a clinician will you know uh, further uh, know what uh, what steps he has to take to manage uh, the uh, condition so dr sab you are dependent on yes, my yes. report i totally agree that without pathologist even we cannot diagnose anemia without them uh, for that uh, you have to do CBC and uh, that will show us the report of hemoglobin then only we can diagnose anemia that is very basic test so importance of pathology is very much in our field so uh, if anyone who, who is taking pathology please don't think that you are not recognized anywhere or there is not uh, this is not important branch trust me the patient's life is in your hand and you are the uh, players in the background on which clinicians are dependent so over to you Fine. Um, uh, and one very important uh, fact I'll say that uh, your uh, identity will not be your stethoscope, your identity will be your microscope. I would like to add one more thing that even after MD Pathology, you can do many fellowships and PhDs yes. even from India and from outside also. Yes, so yes. It's a really good thing if you want to study more in the field of pathology. There are many fellowships available in the fields like uh, renal pathology, hepatic pathology, oncopathology and many other things. Uh, you know Doc Sab, uh, doctors doing uh, fellowships after pathology will have advantage over the other uh, doctors who are simple MD pathologists. Yeah, who are just practicing general uh, pathology. Yes. So Doc Sab, I would request you to tell us about some uh, cons also. Okay, fine. You know, uh, pathology is a very vast branch like uh, medicine. You have to study each and everything. You have to study lot and lot. Uh, uh, you cannot choose pathology if you're, not, if you're not at all interested in studying because you will have to study a lot in pathology. Another uh, important uh, um, cons is that uh, if you are willing to, you know, interact with the patients and uh, if you want uh, uh, to hang over a stethoscope and, uh, you know, um, uh, pay, uh, watch patients, uh, examine patients, you will not be able to do so. Another disadvantage of taking uh, pathology as a career option is that you will not be recognized amongst the patients. You will not get any recognition, they will not know your name. Uh, but still, you will be recognized among your fellow doctors, among the hospitals, among the labs. Uh, that is, if you are very good at diagnosing uh, things, uh, you will get uh, calls from the hospitals and uh, you know, you will get the slides uh, that docs are please uh, uh, diagnose this condition. Uh, sorry to interrupt, not only from the different hospitals, but yes, you yes. will get slides from different states also. Yes. If you are a recognized pathologist, you know, even I remembered sending slides toward Mumbai or towards Chandigarh so mm -hmm. that a pathologist can recognize it. Yes, you're right. Uh, so, Dr. Sir, please tell us about earning potential in this branch. Okay. <clears throat> when you talk about the earning potential, the average income will range from 80,000 to 1 lakh until and unless you become very famous and uh, or you join a uh, uh, different lab or different hospitals one more thing a pathologist could uh, do is that he could join medical colleges 
but the thing is you will uh, you'll have to fight uh, for your position there too because uh, you know jobs are becoming very saturated mm. it's saturated all over in india in every medical colleges yes. and for each and every branch it's like yes but uh, yes medical. that's true for each and every branch yes, yes, yes. that's not particularly for the pathology that's true for each and every branch mm. so uh, the thing is uh, work more earn more so friends we will come up with more such informative videos yes. hope you like this video and uh, please like and subscribe this channel because even dr sahab has given her important time with us we will see you in the next video till then we are signing off and stay blessed